Honourable. Thank you very much, uh, Lars Kian Corla, and thanks uh, to the Minister for State for his opening remarks. Look, those of us that are in the Housing Committee take our legislative responsibilities very, very seriously. Uh, as the Minister knows, Sinn Féin supports the holding of the plebiscites, uh, and I acknowledge the fact that the Minister did indicate at second stage speech that he was going to be bringing these forward. The problem is we're given five pages uh, of essentially what is a new bill 48 hours before the committee uh, will have a chance to discuss and vote on them. So that means we've had no second stage debate on the substance uh, of what is a separate piece of legislation uh, and we've had no pre-legislative scrutiny on it. In fact, before we even got the amendments, we were reading uh, Daniel McConnell in the Irish Examiner yesterday, uh, a story based allegedly on a, a leaked memo from Cabinet in which the Attorney General was expressing serious concern with the amendments that we're going to have to deal with in uh, committee uh, tomorrow, uh, allegedly on the grounds uh, that it's not clear what the policies uh, or the decision-making powers of these uh, new mayors would be or the relationship with existing councillors. The same Cabinet memo also highlighted criticisms uh, from the Minister for Finance to say there's no costings associated uh, with any of this. And my concern is this, and this is in no way a criticism of the officials, but when ministers put pressure on officials to produce complex legislation in short timelines, unfortunately mistakes get made. And we've seen that uh, in some of the legislation uh, that we've had before us uh, uh, recently. So I'm genuinely concerned that we are not being given sufficient time, particularly those of us who are new deputies to this House and therefore dealing with these very technical amendments uh, at short, short notice. I also have to say uh, I was a member of the Dublin Mayor's uh, and directly elected mayors form previously when the four Dublin uh, local authorities looked at the issue of a directly elected mayor to Dublin. And one of the key issues in, in making uh, decisions about whether you support uh, uh, or oppose the election uh, of mayors directly is what powers they have, what structures they have, what costs. Will powers be lost from local authorities as they're devolved upwards? Will powers uh, uh, be brought into local government as they're devolved down from government agencies, etc.? And while I understand from talking to the Minister before we came in here today that there will be another piece of legislation, in some senses we've been asked to take some very important decisions at committee tomorrow without having all of the full information. As Dunnick O'Leary said, my colleague, we don't want to delay the substantive legislation before us tomorrow. So I have a request of the Minister, and hopefully in his concluding remarks he'll be able to address this. I think the members of the Housing Committee, uh, whose job is to scrutinise uh, the overall uh, uh, bill, need a detailed briefing from the departmental officials in advance of the committee session tomorrow, where we can tease out some of this. It could be done in half an hour or 45 minutes, uh, uh, that we can go through all of that properly, so that at least we'll have the benefit of that when we're coming into committee to debate uh, and take decisions. And if the Minister can give us a commitment today that at least we will have that additional bit of preparation, then we certainly won't stand in the way of his motion. But can I say this? Uh, and again, this isn't to, to, to be in any way partisan about these issues. While we can have our political and policy arguments, <clears throat> it's our job in committee to make sure <clears throat> that legislation is got right. We take our scrutinising responsibilities very, very seriously and dropping substantial pieces of legislation at such short notice I don't think is a good practice, Minister. So I would hope when you're coming back to us next year uh, with the next local government bill and the substantive issues uh, around the powers uh, uh, of the directly elected mayors, uh, the costs and the relationship with existing local authorities, we won't be in a similar situation where to meet uh, a very tight deadline, uh, uh, very detailed uh, uh, amendments uh, are being dropped in at, at committee or report stage. But if you're willing to give us that commitment of a detailed briefing tomorrow at some point tomorrow afternoon, then we certainly won't stand in the way of this tonight.